development goals. Thank you very much and uh, good, good evening to everyone. President of COP24, Honorable Minister Kritika, Excellencies, fellow panelists, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Bula Vinaka and good evening to all of you. It's really difficult to speak at this time of the evening and keeping a good attention, but I'll try my best. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the COP24 Presidency and the Executive Committee for the Warsaw International Mechanism for Loss and Damage for extending the invitation to the Fijian government as COP23 President to participate in this important event. I'm extremely honored to be here on behalf of our Prime Minister of Fiji, Honorable Frank Beni Marama, our COP23 President, to join you all in the five-year celebration of WIM. Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, our delegation fully welcomes the Executive Committee report of the Warsaw International Mechanism for Loss and Damage associated with climate change impacts and draft decisions. It is critical to the future sustainable development of our island states and all vulnerable countries. It has certainly paved the clear path into our collaborative engagements with all parties to be effectively addressed and tackle loss and damage in climate change space. Loss and damage has been a critical pillar of the UNF, UNFCCC negotiations, particularly for all countries that are recognized by the Convention as vulnerable to the adverse impacts of climate change. Such recognition of our vulnerabilities is reaffirmed in Article 21 of the Paris 21A of the Paris Agreement on the adoption of long-term temperature goal of holding the increase in global leverage of temperature well below 2 degrees Celsius and pursuing efforts to limit to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. These efforts or our collective ambition is to significantly reduce the risk and impacts of climate change and in turn effectively reduce loss and damage. The five-year anniversary of WIM is particularly meaningful to Fiji. The Fijian government, while serving as the chair of G77 plus China at COP19 in 2013, were inspired with hope, endured with faith, and worked hard with all parties for a consensus on the Warsaw International Mechanism, a process that we all labored together through late night to early hours of negotiations during COP19 and some of you current members on the executive committee, if not all present here, know fully well what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, the, increment, the incremental steps we are taking since COP19 is gaining momentum and let us continue to track and support the work of the XCOM going forward from here. In 2015, the inclusion of Articles 8 Article 8 of the Paris Agreement, loss and damage became firmly entrenched in the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Early this year, under the COP presidency, the WIM Executive Committee organized the Suvexpert Dialogue that was instrumental in pushing the Convention on Loss and Damage, particularly on the approaches associated finance needs and source of support. The SUVA Expert Dialogue provided some solid inputs in documentation of real, tangible, current and anticipated needs and challenges in addressing loss and damage. Particularly, it marked the next step in addressing key questions on how to mobilize adequate support for developing countries. Given the Fiji's and all of our collective experiences, I cannot emphasize even more the pronounced importance of the next of the text on loss and damage to be included in Paris Agreement rulebook, as this will give assurance to developing countries that they will not be left alone to deal with loss and damage. I also understand that the WIM will undergo a review next year, and I'm positive that our future directions become even clearer. Lastly, let me reaffirm Fiji's leadership role in this climate struggle particularly through the Talanoa Dialogue and innovation introduced by Fiji's presidency to promote dialogue and collaborations on climate issues. I do, do note that these 
have been taking place all over the world and their ministerial roundtables taking place this week. The Telenor concept of inclusiveness and respectful engagement to raise ambition has captured the imagination of the whole world. It's certainly a wonderful legacy of the Fijian presidency. So with these words, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great pleasure to welcoming you all on behalf of the president uh, to this evening's uh, celebration. And I wish you all very well. Thank you.